So this is session three of our series on true freedom. And today I want to look at the places and the things that can have a hold over us. Now for decades, I never wanted to go on the road between Sydney and Newcastle. And the reason being was that when I was very young, we were driving up that road towing a caravan. And the road back then was one lane either way. It was very windy and it was up and over the hills. Now, of course, it's an eight lane highway and it just goes straight through the hills. But as we were going uphill, we had a trail of cars behind us. Then the trail of cars started to come over the crest of the hill coming the other way. And one car must have got a bit impatient. He pulled out. Then I guess he saw us and tried to jam on the brakes, lost control, rolled onto his lid. And there he began to slide straight down the road towards us because everybody by now was stopped. My parents must have been praying pretty hard because as it came towards us, just before it got to us, it seemed to turn and it went across onto the side of the road into a ditch in front of the cars coming the other way and people got out of it basically unhurt. Now I was too young to fully understand the implications of what could have been, but the picture stayed in my mind and it gave me a fear of that road to the point that I didn't want to go on it ever again. If a tragedy's happened at a particular place, sometimes it's just too much to go back to that place and we'll end up going the long way round to avoid the spot where we had that car accident. Or maybe school was an unpleasant experience and that's the last place we ever want to go back to. So there are a lot of places can have a hold on us. It might be the hospital where a loved one died. It might be the place where a loved one was killed. Because places can bring back bad memories and so we'll go out of our way to avoid them. But we can also have an unhealthy tie to a place that was a good experience. And it might be that your family home, which you really loved, was sold, the new owners pulled it down and they built something else. And you just can't bear to go back and look there. But it's not just places, there are things can have an unhealthy attachment to. And we had a friend who wouldn't come to visit us because we've got a 300 metre unmade gravel drive and he had a lovely shiny clean car and he didn't want to bring his lovely shiny clean car up our driveway so he couldn't come to visit or maybe the church wanted to move a couple of pews and alter the front and you say not over my dead body if they do that they'll never see me in there again places and things can have some control over what we do. And we aren't really free. Now, some of them don't make a great deal of difference, but some of them can limit us in a really big way. So once again, we need to deal with why that place has a hold on us or why an object's restricting what we do. Often it's a case of healing that's needed. For me, that accident on the road I needed to have the power of the image in my mind broken so that it no longer had fear and pain. And then um, to be just cut free from any sort of bondage or tie to that particular incident. Of course now I have no fear of the road, it's a magnificent road now. In the case of our friend, well, he really needed to look at why the car meant so much to him. Was it status? Or was it an obsession with cleanliness? If the issues were dealt with, then he would be able to be cut free from that attachment that was so limiting. The word of God sets us free from all the ties that bind. Set free. 
Thank you.